crafting friends, Stacy here as always, and today is going to be a mixture of the Floss 2 video for July, uh, as well as the giveaway winner for the Diamond Painting Happy Mail giveaway that I posted two weeks ago. Uh, we're going to start with the Floss Tube and this is going to be the July floss tube even though it is August 1st. So last time I was telling everybody how far behind I was on the 12 month town stitch along. I'm still behind. It hasn't changed. I'm about <clears throat> still a month and a half behind. So I did finish May and I started on June. June is this, the post office. This is a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads post office. And I think that this one is either maybe a little bit older or maybe it's newer. I'm not sure, but the pattern had different symbols on it than what all the other ones that I've done so far had and it actually was kind of a fresh um, look on things. It was whenever I looked at the pattern and it had different symbols I'm like yeah I could get into this a little bit better because it's the monotony you know break up the monotony a little bit even different symbols is enough to break up the monotony for me um, this is all that I have done on it so I haven't quite finished that centerpiece of the building yet um, it's kind of bleached out let me get it closer so you can see the difference between the gray the white or maybe further away there we go so we have um, just a lot of so far a lot of gray ecru uh, and then just the brown part for the brick so that's all I have done on that and this was June post office was June so I'm still about a month behind this one it has three bags of beads, but looking at the pattern, it actually has a little bit less beads than what the other ones, or less beading than what the other ones had. Uh, this one's button is that tree. And I removed that, um, what, I, what I gathered to be a snow shovel. So I'm not going to have that snow shovel sitting on the edge there. I'm taking that part out of my stitching. Let me show you what I finished and this was the finish for May. Uh, this was the Village Inn. Let me get a little closer. So the Village Inn is just really a cute little house is what it is. And I thought from the picture on the front of the pattern and the pictures online that it would be a little bit more of like a pinky color, but it's not. It's a cream house. And the button on this one is this snowman here. You can hear my dog moving around that's just little Kemper moving around he's so he's 15 now and I'm having to constantly clean up everywhere he goes he can't hold himself he just goes and so if anybody has any tips on how to get the smell of urine out of a room without having to mop every single day let me know anyways that was a detour okay um the village inn has maybe the most beading that i have done on any of these as of yet let me take a look at the time that it took me to do 
the beading. Yes, so this was the most time spent so far on one of these kits with the beading. All of this gold you see is beading. Uh, this is beading these little red things. All of the roof almost, you can see. The roofs, there's two, is mostly beading. Uh, and then in the house here, on oh, see all those little ones that go sideways all of that is beads so a lot of beads and backstitch on this one the most time I have spent on any of them seven hours and 24 minutes uh, and also on this one there was in the pattern a cat that was this color sitting right there I took that out. In these small little stitches, it's either, it's strange because it's either that the little details that they add in there, like the cat or the bird on the firehouse, are too, I mean, if this cat was in real life, it would be a tiger. It's huge compared to the, to the door or compared to the windows or the or the building in general. The cat was huge. The bird was huge. That's why I took them out. Um, also, I, whenever they are, like the cat was sitting up on the porch here, you could barely even tell that it was a cat. It just looked like an orange blob. Uh, so almost on every single one, I have taken out some detail that I'm like, you can't even tell what that is. It's not important. Uh, Okay, here is the stitching log at, there at the bottom for the Village Inn. So total spent uh, 25 hours, 19 minutes, which is also the most I've spent on any of them so far. The others have all been 23 hours and something. On to the giveaway. That's all I have for stitchy stuff today. So with the giveaway, I have this app on my iPad here that has everyone's name that entered the giveaway. The giveaway what video was posted two weeks ago. You had until yesterday, the end of July, to respond and enter the giveaway. So we had 31 people uh, enter the giveaway. And so that's not bad odds. Let's take a look. Let me get out the calculator here. Calculator, where are you? Okay, your odds of winning are 3.226%. That's not horrible odds. A lot of these other giveaways on YouTube and stuff are, you know, one in 250 comments or whatever. Uh, so 3.22% of winning, chance of winning. Um, I have this Tiny Decisions app, and everybody's name is on there. I'll leave it up there for just a second so you can see, find your name. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the button and, sorry, get the glare off of the screen. Hit the button and whoever it lands on, that is who wins the giveaway. The giveaway, I have, I haven't packed it yet, so that's what all this bubble wrap is for. I love bubble wrap. The 
the giveaway is going to be this box here. So pretty big box. It's an Amazon box, but don't be fooled. It'll be coming from me. And um, hopefully I can ship it. I'm not going to tip it on its side because I haven't packed it yet. But um, hopefully I can ship it decently cheap. But there's some, everything that you would need to do the diamond painting is in there. Uh, from bead storage or uh, drill storage to um, a little container that to put the drills that you don't want to put on the painting, everything that you would need to construct the painting, and I put some like project journal type type papers in there for you as well as some th random things that are not to do with the diamond painting at all. That's what's in that box. So it'll be a surprise. I'm still not going to show the pad or the uh, the picture of what the diamond painting is of. It'll still be a surprise. Okay, so we have our 31 entries here. Here we go. I don't know how to say this one. Shukulele. Anyways, that is the winner of the diamond painting giveaway. I am going to put your comment on the top. So, okay. They say, I live in Massachusetts. I love diamond painting because I love seeing my project become more and more complete and see all the pretty colors shining. You will be getting the, the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to message you right now. And if you have a, I don't know your name, I just know your, your YouTube name. If you have a Instagram account, then go on Instagram, Stacy Noel CP. I'll put it down here in the in the video, so that you can go on Instagram, message me. That's probably the easiest way is to message me through Instagram. Otherwise, um, I will give you my email address and we can get addresses and stuff for you in Massachusetts that way. And uh, yeah, this was just a little fun thing for me to do. And I just wanted to spread some happy mail. In the fall, I will be doing a video giveaway similar to this one that will be with cross stitch items. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for a giveaway video in the fall that's going to be cross stitch instead of diamond painting. I hope to hear from you soon either via Instagram message or via email. Alright, by the time this video is posted, uh, probably will send out the package Today is Saturday. I'll probably send out the package Monday. All right, I will see you all on the next Floss 2 video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell so that you are notified whenever my videos pop up. And I will see you soon, a little bit later in August. Hopefully I can get some stitching done and catch up on the 12 month town stitch along. All right, love you, bye.